termination practices, let's go to the other end of the spectrum and take a look at what happens when you terminate an employee. Again, very important that you have an idea. You don't just tell somebody that they are terminated for whatever reason and then kind of play it by ear at that point. Revocation of privileges. One of the first things that you need to do when you have decided to terminate an employee, now this may mean whether it's voluntary or involuntary termination, you want to revoke privileges. Make sure that all of the access that has been granted to this person for physical access as well as access to data systems is revoked immediately. Don't allow a person that is no longer associated with your organization get into your systems. Security escort. Now, many organizations already have something like this into place, but it's a good idea to put this in your policy, that once an employee has been terminated, that employee will be escorted by a security person, a security guard, or perhaps a manager from the point of termination until they actually get in their vehicle and leave the premises. The idea behind that is to close the window on the opportunity that that person could take revenge on the organization or decide that, gosh, they still owe me some money, so I'm just going to lift something and take it with me. Again, security escort, make sure that you put it in the policy and it's stated at a very high level. And last but not least, what about an exit interview? It's, again, a pretty good idea to ask certain questions. Several reasons to conduct an exit interview would include gleaning good information, you may find out things that your employees may not be willing to tell you as to the goings-on inside an organization. But perhaps more importantly, you might be able to interview a person who has just been terminated and ask certain questions such as, have you returned all company materials? Have you surrendered all of your security badges? And you can have the terminated employee sign a document so that they would be legally responsible from that point on.